What's up, Kama TV? It's your dating coach Emre from KamaLifestyles.com. Today, we are diving into a topic that sparks interesting debates and late night discussions. Why do some women shame men for their dating preferences? It's unfortunate that some women resort to shaming tactics rather than engaging in constructive conversations about dating preferences. I've heard in the doll, if you prefer a fit partner and don't date someone overweight, they say you're fat phobic. How dare you don't want to date someone because of their weight. If you have an issue with her promiscuous past, they call you a slut shamer. They say, why do you judge women based on their past? You're so backward. If you like to date younger women with an age gap, age-related shaming kicks in. For example, if you like to date over 18s with an age gap, you're called pedo or a sugar daddy. The list goes on and the names you'll be called will extend. So today, gentlemen, I will hit the street and get the most honest answers for you. So why do women shame men? Stay tuned. Why do you think some women shame men for their dating preferences? Because of social norms. I think they are frustrated. Projection of their own insecurities. Maybe because they're insecure in themselves. Maybe feminism has taken a step too far now. Like stapling us as like a hoe if they do the same thing but think it's cool. Because I think it's a resentment built up because men shame women. So then it's just reversed back onto the men. I think it's insecurity because if you're judging someone else, you clearly have something wrong with yourself. Yes. You clearly don't feel comfortable in your own skin, so you feel the need to project negative uh, feelings and views onto other people. They might be unrealistic expectations and preferences that um, aren't actually general representations of who people are as people. Mm -hmm. Historic misogyny, yeah. we've just been used to it. And I think most women shame their men for not being that much supportive. I think that's the main reason, right? Yeah. Them being not supportive. I, th right? I think that that's it. Maybe if uh, if a woman have some insecurities and they like, if they get the rejection from a guy, they, they could they could say that um, the guy is uh, ha ha phobic for for some reason, right. and maybe that's why. So blame game, right? Insecure uh, women blames. Is that it? Yeah, sometimes, yeah, but it depends for like on the woman. Is there any other reason do you think rather than the insecurities women shame men for their dating preferences? Well, also I think that um, lots of men have their own phobias and that's why. I just feel like if, if a true feminist is, is going to talk about any dating preferences, you should be equal for both men and women. I think because too many men have like an idea of what a perfect woman should should look like and that doesn't always fit into like everyday woman. Maybe it stems from a place of insecurity? I don't think it stems from a place of insecurity. So why is that then? I think because women don't ask for much in general so why would a man come and ask for this much when he isn't gonna offer as much? So women don't ask much right? No. Well because we have a history of men just oppressing us basically. Oppressing? Yeah. <laughs> why did you pull that rabbit? Like, oh, do you think that women are oppressed? Because patriarchy just says that like women can be fat, we need to be shaved all the time, we need to be perfect, we need to look good. And it's just like, we're just annoyed. I, I think it's just a, like a sh human thing, to be honest. <laughs> we women don't like to be reduced to our appearance because it always has been like that in the past centuries. That women all, always had to be like beautiful and now and like pretty and there were those beauty standards. And we don't like to fit in this anymore. So we don't, don't want to be fit in any category. Yeah? Yeah, right. right. Okay. So I think because it always has been like that, now women are like, just accept our appearance however we look like. Some people are shit. It's the same same goes for men. Some people shame women for being fat or for having like um, separation anxiety or whatever, you know, being insecure. Same goes for some women. They judge it. Like we personally don't do that, but obviously some people will. I think we always give the spotlight to the minority that has bad things to say instead of the majority that, you know, doesn't give a shit. Shame is free, okay? So sometimes men need to be shamed because of the way they're acting. It's their actions. If the action is not good, it's not, if it's not 10-10, if it, they don't act like a man, they should be shamed. What sort of manly behaviors you're looking for? There's no 50-50 in tennis. 
Okay, all right. So you want the man to pay, all right. Pay the whole thing. And if we're in like a serious relationship, okay. pay my bills. I don't know. I think it's just how society has put that uh, in their minds or in our minds. So they believe in the social norms, you believe? I think so, yeah. Maybe because they've had experiences in the past. What sort of bad experiences? Elaborate, please. Um, you know, some women had dating experiences when they were younger, where they either got treated badly or cheated on, or whatever. Their shaped. past experiences. Yeah. yeah. Shaped their opinions of men. Is there another thing, do you think? Or is only their past experiences, bad experiences? That's all I can think of right now. They might be insecure or they might think that men don't deserve their time, their love, their feelings and everything else. Like social pressures? Like social pressures? Like, you know, they got to be rich, all this stuff, I don't know. How do you think that uh, women shame men in dating? The goals in dating, they don't really look for serious relationships, they have too many partners. Mm -hmm. That's usually how men are shamed. So like, how do you feel yourself? I don't know, I don't really date men. <laughs> they are too aggressive in their approach. It might be they are too much for the specific men, so it depends. Like if they don't have a good job, maybe, like if, if they're like not rich, maybe, and you get shame for that, like you're, you're dating a bum. And there you have it, folks. We dive deep into the minds of our lovely ladies to understand why some men face the dating shame game. Whether it's about the beard, the height, age, or the choice of of movies everyone's got an opinion but here's the thing my friends your dating preferences are your own and they are very valid don't let the noise drown out your authenticity so go after what you want unapologetically if you enjoyed my video you know what to do like share comment and subscribe remember comma tv is not just a channel it's your secret weapon in the dating game do you want to arm yourself with the best tactics head on over to comalifestyles.com and check out our all digital products and services and until next time embrace your dating preferences and keep the dating journey alive